succeed. Some blacks must be successful. Mm -hmm. You need a LeBron. You need an Oprah. You need a Tyler Perry. You need a Sean Carter. You need a Beyonce Knowles. You need a Sean Puffy Combs. You need a Robert Johnson. You, you follow? Why do you need successful black Fair people use. if you want to destroy our black people? Because in order to brainwash the other ones into believing that your failure is not due to systemic discrimination, it's due to the fact that you're not intelligent enough or you're not working hard enough. Do you see that? Right. So if Dr. Umar is a billionaire and you've been trying to get your business off the ground, it ain't popped yet. You've been trying to get your corporation off the ground, it ain't popped yet. Mm. You didn't open up 10 business, they all didn't flop. Mm. You need me as the billionaire to come and say, fellas, it's not your fault. They designed the system to not work in your behalf. But because I love being rich and I love my proximity to white culture and, and lifestyle, I don't tell you it's not your fault that there's a game set up and there's only going to be a few Dr. Umars, I tell you the problem is yours. Obviously, you didn't do your business plan right. Obviously, the reason why the bank didn't give you the business loan is because you didn't have your numbers right. Your credit wasn't high enough. You see that? And so, the black millionaire and billionaire class is one of white supremacy's greatest arguments to defend itself against accusations of racism. Because Oprah Winfrey is not going to indict the system. LeBron James is not going to indict the system. You understand me? Tyler Perry is not going to indict the system because they made their money through the system. And because they're at the top of black society, they know how powerful white folks really are. They know how unfair the game really is. Mm -hmm. They know me being here is a privilege that white people gave me. Yes, I worked hard to get here, but I would never be here without their help. Right. At the end of the day, all of our black millionaires and billionaires are owned by the white power structure. I don't say that to be disrespectful because I respect LeBron James, right? I appreciate the image of a black man with a black woman with black children who's never been in any trouble. Right entered the league at 17, 18 years old and never had a single scandal. He's a good example of a responsible black man. Right. I like how Jay-Z came from Marcy Projects and now you're a billionaire the legal way. I like what Oprah did coming from nothing at Tennessee State. I like what Tyler Perry did coming from sleeping in his car to being a billionaire to owning the first all black music studio, one of the largest in the country. Even white folk go to Tyler Perry Studios to film their movies. Part of Black Panther 2 was filmed at Tyler Perry Studios. Mm -hmm. So I appreciate their rags to riches story the problem is they can't top it off with a cherry on top and the cherry on top is to look the camera in the eye and say i made it but most of my people will never will because the system is not designed for black people to succeed and this is how they get us they'll promote a few blacks everybody else struggling everybody else in poverty everybody else coming out of prison but they'll promote a few blacks and because a few blacks made it they're automatically supposed to mean that we are doing better Barakat the Yahweh, Barakat the Yahweh Shai, Barakat the Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash, the bondage to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, peace and salutation of the Aki, I'm pushing out the word and truth and sincerity of the whole four leg around the globe. All right, just wanted to share that quick clip, fair use, all right, to our friends at YouTube, all right, of Dr. Umar going in on the so called black leaders. All right, so called, we'll, we'll say Israelite, all right, but primarily so called tribe of Judah. Okay, not so called, we are the tribe of Judah, but the so called Negroes in particular. All right, and, and our leaders as a whole in Israel, all right, are bad examples, okay, of what it is to, to go from so called rags to riches. Yes, they are successful, yes, they made it big, but they all had to sell their soul on a deeper level that this man is not going into here, okay. Because he's a, a, a controlled opposition that's funded in, in, in some sorts. So he could be sincere or not. But again, for him not to know the root of all things and not to really condemn Tyler Perry, for example, of how he got those studios and how he became a billionaire, you know, promoting the the so-called black man in a dress. OK, is is off. So, you know, you, you take what these people say with a grain of salt. You watch. As well as pray as the scriptures say and instruct but you have to filter all things through the through the good word all right and the truth is that yes to to get to the top these people had to sell their soul and that's in the scriptures as well all right uh, the, when, when the lord was coming off of a 40-day fast all right uh, satan presented himself to the lord all right the son of god and was 
uh, attempting him with the rulership of the of the kingdoms of the world all right and he had to just give up his soul so these people have given up their soul for this light kingdom all right and Jeremiah 14 and 2 says it, and we've always brought this out. It says, Judah mourneth, and the gates thereof thereof languish. They are black unto the ground, and and their cry has their cry and the cry of Jerusalem is gone up. Alright? So our people, their gates languish, the leaders, alright? The the leadership, the people that are front front row, so to speak. The the pioneers, okay? He met, like if he mentioned Sean Carter, Oprah, Tyler Perry, all right? These are people that are gatekeepers, all right? That yes, that they know and they pay homage, all right? Because we are, we are going to give it up to where, where Brother Umar is correct, all right? These people are at the top for a reason, for an agenda to show you on a more deeper sinister level than when he was speaking of is even that yes to be successful you have to be these people and it's usually they're promoting or whether it's to be a sellout all right whether it's to to glorify a certain lifestyle so it stays profitable for our people you know the same owners of the of these record labels are the same ones that own the or, or they have ownership in private prisoner private prisons all right, and they have the the pipeline of the delinquent and the and the high crime rate that they create and stir up in the hood, and uh, how it equals a, a bottom dollar when you end up incarcerated, and then they got Jake in jail, out of the way, serving in servitude in slavery just like they want to, but even though ones us even those of us outside the jails we're also enslaved, all right. But these would be even false prophets. So let's bring that up. Down to the TG, TD Jakes, all right? The Creep Low Dollars. No, or Sean Carter that he mentioned, that so-called Jay-Z, Hova, all right? Jeremiah 531 says, the prophets prophesy falsely and the priests bear rule by their means and my people love to have it so and what will you do in the end thereof all right these people are glorified and deemed uh, as idols all right uh, as uh, as the top tier okay literally jay-z uh, is an example of that he, him surnaming himself jehovah uh-huh jehovah he's uh, trying to say he's jehovah all right that he's the god all right that's a, that's a false that's a that's a, a fallacy lamentations 214 leaders great spiritual leaders like let's say td jakes td fakes right thy prophets have seen vain and foolish things uh, don't we see the td fakes uh, partying with p with p diddy all right they're all gatekeepers that's what the, the deeper level of what brother omar is saying which he, he he's mentioning it but we have to really go deep these people are gatekeepers these people are there for an agenda okay to really turn you out all right of course it's it's common sense to, to many that they can get to those levels but in case you do want to get to Jay-Z level, all right? What do you have to do? That's their message. So Jake, first and foremost, thy prophets have seen vain and foolish things for thee, and they have not discovered thine iniquity to turn away thy captivity, but have seen, but have seen for thee false burdens and causes of banishment. Okay, our people have gotten destroyed trying to follow these men. There's murders in the inner cities, all right, trying to be so called Anali Chapa or Lil Wayne, <laughs> tatting your face. 
Matthew 7, 13, Beware of false prophets which come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are ravening wolves. Okay? It's all false. These false leaders, all right? These false pastors, these false idols. The idols are going to be destroyed. Second Chronicles 33 and 7. And he set a carved image, the idol which he had made in the house of God, of which God had said to David and to Solomon, his son, in this house and in Jerusalem, which I have chosen before all the tribes of Israel, will I put my name forever. The Most High has put his name on our people. And our people have reared up to themselves idols, both of flesh, wood, stone. Okay, these people are idols. Ezekiel 6 and 5 says, And I will lay the dead carcasses of the children of Israel before their idols, and I will scatter your bones round about your altars. All right? You people that have deified these people. To the, uh, to the level that you do or even when you go see them in concert okay that uh, that oh, a woman will commit adultery to be with, with Drake or Romeo or, or one of these celebrity pretty boys all right on her husband thinking that there's no consequence to terror again uh, the, these idols are, are set up for a, a bigger agenda. Ezekiel 14 and 4 says, Therefore speak unto them and say unto them, Thus saith the Lord God, Every man of the house of Israel that setteth up his idols in his heart and putteth the stumbling block of his iniquity before his face and cometh to the prophet, I the Lord will answer him that, that come according to the multitude of his idols. Your idols will get you death. That's in the law, statutes, and commandments. Read the law. Ezekiel 14 and 5, that I may take the house of Israel in their own heart, because they are all estranged from me through their idols. All right? So, in, for, for not obeying the Most High, all right? For obeying man rather than the Most High, you know, the Most High is going to have you estranged all right you following these demonic celebrities and these satanists see because uh dr omar went on to still praise them okay but we have to go deeper through the scriptures no these men are nothing to praise all right and they've gotten their riches through ill-gotten gain many times all right, because they're aware of the agenda. They're not going to, uh, um, they're not going to indict the system, uh, how Dr. Umar said. That I may take the house of Israel in their own heart because they are all estranged from me through their idols. So they're going to reap the reward of their doings. These people that cannot turn back to the Most High, that are going to uh, follow man more than the most high therefore say unto the house of israel thus saith the lord god repent and turn yourselves from your idols and turn away your faces from all your abominations for every one of the house of israel or of the stranger that sojourneth in israel which separateth himself from me and setteth up his idols in his heart and putteth the stumbling block of his iniquity before his face and cometh to a prophet to inquire of him concerning me i the lord will answer him by myself Mosai is going to answer with destruction and death to, to our people. 
All right. Because it's all over the word how the Most High does not condone idol worship. He does not condone the following of other gods. All right. He does not condone you siding with the world and these damn uh, so-called celebrities as your leaders. All right. So with that, I'm not going to make this too long. I think uh, we, we made the point and hopefully it was edifying to the brothers and the sisters, the few sisters out there that also follow, listen and learn. All right. So with that, I'll say all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rukaku Dash. Shalom.